You have made this move, but you guys offered this plan, and it seems like a great opportunity to switch. Which one? The coach you're building half? Or? Yeah, you're building half. Yeah. How'd you find out? A um, co-worker told me about it. Okay. I think uh, co-workers like work his friend, and she told him and told me. Okay. Important. Well, you're going to hear a lot about it. It was, uh, it was actually shooting the ads last couple of days ago. Okay. And when we were casting the, for the artist, we made a requirement that you have to be a Verizon or an AT&T customer. Oh, wow. And they actually showed up, and they actually liked the plan, and they actually, all of them switched. And we either gave them a scissor or a knife, or a, so each one each find a way to do it. So, well, hopefully you're going to enjoy our service, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the business side. I've been monitoring all, all of our stores throughout the country, and what you're seeing here is the same thing that's going on all over the U.S., or 3,000 stores. And one of the things that we said from day one is, you know, we want to be the best value in wireless. I wanted to make it very clear, and this is a tricky industry. When we try to make that, our competitors advertise a lot more than we do, so they confuse the, the consumer by saying they are the best value in wireless. But we thought, you know, let's just make it very clear. And I think the best way to make it clear is, hey, bring us your bill. We'll cut it in half. So no questions asked after this. So, so the only way we thought we could get them in here, they show up, we show them they can cut their bill in half, or we show them a Sprint's rate plan. And about half of them are saying, you know, I just want to choose a new Sprint rate plan. So it's a combination of the two of them. So we're happy, you know, hopefully we're going to keep on attracting more customers for more competition. So does that mean we are done with layoffs? I would say so, you know, those, you know, those bold moves that we had to take out a, you know, a couple of thousand employees, I think for now that's behind us. But we're always going to be looking ways in order for us to be more efficient. One of the things that I'm committed is, is, you know, I love people from Kansas and Missouri. I think people here are so nice. So I want to bring my care centers here. And I made it a point from day one. Uh, and now we are reopening care centers that we have shut down not too long ago. And we're starting with 200 people. And I've given instructions that as soon as we fill those 200, I want to fill more and more. Because it's, it's just so much nicer when the care people that are talking to customers are inside our building. I can just sneak in and listen to the calls and I can talk to them and I can I can listen to customers. It's, it's a little different when a customer is calling the Philippines. You know, they don't feel the same way. So I'm committed to, you know, maybe maybe not rehiring more companies at a, at a company level, but why not, you know, reshuffle, bring people from offshore to Kansas or from other parts of the U.S. So, you know, that's, that's an area that I want to put a lot of focus on.